Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. All right, just for the announcements as usual, thank you guys so much for those that you are listening on SoundCloud, Stitcher, or iTunes. Uh, a great way just to show your love. I've been getting all your messages and appreciation. Just go ahead and do a good review. Hey, listen, if you think it sucks, put a one-star review, but at least do a review and let everybody know what's going on. Hopefully you find it's beneficial. If you do want to put a one-star review, before you do that, just please email me and tell me your solution on how you would make it better. Now, sometimes I just might not know or see or understand what you see or understand. So I want to be able to help you guys with everything else. Thank you guys for sending your comments and your questions so we could fuel the fuels. And I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the IamHero.com project where the IamHero.com, you can sign up for free. It's all on me. It's not free. I, I'm actually giving it to you as a gift where it's the one month to win, where it's 20 videos over one month with exercises and an ebook where it gets you in the habit of winning. And just those things alone will change your life. You have nothing to lose. So just give yourself a little bit of that time. They're short videos, five minutes or under, so it takes no time at all and gets you moving in the right direction. Also, thank you for the pictures. We've got a couple extra pictures of people showing their awesome hero swag, so you can just see the store and get it as a gift for somebody else. We do have now child sizes, so look on the store. You'll start to see the child sizes, and probably over the next week we'll have... What we're going to do is every four weeks we're going to release a new image just to keep it exciting and uh, just have fun. Now, remember with the shirts, they're just a fun thing, right? I like V-necks. I like the hero shirt, it's just showing, it, it's just creating the movement. Uh, this, <laughs> this I Am Hero uh, journey is not uh, <laughs> an, apparel, um, the, uh, an apparel gimmick going on. No, it just, it's just something we got just uh, because people have been asking for cool shirts. So we just want to give it to you guys as well. All right, so today we are continuing our time expansion hacks, okay? Remember time expansion. We cannot create more time what we can do is we could expand the time we're in, become present, and actually make the most use of our time. So consider it a time management slash, slash efficiency slash productivity. So if you're watching this right now, hit the thumbs up, hit that share button, because how many people say they don't have the time? I'll probably have to do one later on about the money, so we could take care of the time and the money one. But we'll start from here. So I'll go through a couple uh, hacks right now on the time we have. All right, so uh, the last thing we ended off was protecting your heart, right? Protect your time is like protecting your heart. Same thing, you protect your heart, you protect your time. So be very careful. If you look through the day, what are you spending your time in? How much are you watching TV? How much are you on social media? How much are you, you know, just doing things that are a zero or negative um, producing income or legacy part of your life? You know, those things that are drainers in your life, the people you're hanging around. So when you audit your time, you can then free up some other areas, getting rid of some of that stuff or making those things more efficient to where you can free up more time to what? Expand your time. So uh, one thing I told Whitney, when I looked at her phone the other day, I actually texted her and I'm like, did you get that text? It was a video of Justice when he was five doing a talk, you know, doing a video like this. And she's like, oh, no, you know, I didn't look at it. So I went to get her phone and look at it. And she had all these notifications, Instagrams. She didn't have Facebook. So I was like, wow. So my text, which is very important to her, you know, I won't text my wife, you know, uh, spam. You know, so if I text my wife, it's a very important text. Like, it's just like when she texts me. It's like, you know, that's, you know, I got to check that thing out because I know it means something. But I just, got, I just get lost in all the other dings and bings on her phone from notifications. So one thing I told her to do is like we shut off or we shut off all the, uh, the the notifications because every time we talked about this, when we talked about thinking seconds, every time that phone buzzes, what do you do? You stop, you look at it. So what happens? You become distracted, all right? You lose focus. You're, you're, and then what happens, it doesn't take you one second to get back to, to focus. It could take you up to 10 minutes to get back to focus. So those notifications, every time you're picking up your phone, you could be wasting 200 seconds a day or plus uh, non-productivity, being off focus or being distracted. You don't realize compounding over time, you lose days, weeks, and years off your life that way. So one thing to protect your time is maybe turn off your notifications You know when you do that. I, listen, everybody can have their, their debriefing time. I think that's good or their distraction time, whether it be whatever that is. Plant it in there. So from this hour to this hour, I'm just going to just numb out. That's fine. But really protect your time. There could be a lot of time vampires pulling you from productivity and efficiency. So that leads us to our first one today, which will be number uh, number 11 actually is get rid of your TV. I know. 
Um, get ready every TV. It's, it's uh, I'd probably say about 13 years ago, Woody and I got rid of our television. We didn't need it. Not the actual TV ourselves, but we canceled cable. You know, the more cable, number one, we were students and we, you know, I was, we were opening up our practice. So it was a way to save money. We realized that money we were investing into uh, garbage. It was doing nothing for us growing as individuals. It was just numbing us out. And then I realized now cable channels today, they're not uh, 60 channels. They're like 1600 channels. And I went over to my mom's house when she, you know, she has cable. And I remember it took me a half hour to go through the whole guide to see what was on. Cause, and my son Justice does the same thing. I don't, I, I, like when I get on TV for some reason, my personality, I want to make sure I'm not missing out on something. So I literally go through the whole guide to make sure I'm not missing out on something better. I don't know if you guys do that. So it took me 20 or 30 minutes to go through the whole guide to make sure that I wasn't missing out on something. Then I went back to whatever show I was trying to watch. I said, what the hell am I doing? This took, it took me a half hour to search then to find the show. So I realized it's a time vampire. So we, we canceled our cable. And uh, what we do is we have uh, internet stuff. So all of you guys mostly find out, you know, you, you live on your phone, right? Your phone is the remote control of your life. So any news you need to find out, it's on your phone. The great thing about your phone or, or your computer is you can now select the shows you want to watch. You have YouTube, you have all these other things. So for the kids, we don't have TV, but at, they have Netflix. So in the time that they do watch a little bit of TV, they could choose without commercials, you know, they'll watch you know, Madagascar, King Julian or something, whatever, Power Rangers, whatever they're into. So we, we, we don't have cable, but we, uh, yeah, we don't have cable, but we do have internet. So we just kind of, it kind of limits it. It also protects your heart from commercials and all the other junk that's going on there. And we choose not to watch the garbage that's on TV or all the bad news that's going in. That's a great way to protect your time efficiency. Remember that. So that's a great way. And it'll save you money as well. You don't need the cable. You can find out everything you need right on the internet as well or right here on your phone. All right, so get rid of your TV, not needed. And also, you're going to realize that you really don't even use your desktop that much anymore, right? Your, your PCs and even your laptops, I really see those becoming extinct in the next five to ten years. You know, it's all going to be done with your phone. As these phones get more sophisticated, you know, you're starting to see the Surface Pros are getting smaller. You can do the things on there that are thinner. You're able to be able to do more things. So I hardly use my desktop, desktop anymore unless I'm writing or something like that. So... You kind of see the trend, the way things are going, so it's a great way to protect your time, get rid of your TV. Um, number 12, let's go into this. Uh, yeah, zero negative income producing activity. So this is where we go, such as TV, look in your life, and we talked about time management or time expansion, write down the things in your life that are bringing you zero to negative income, income producing activity. Income meaning, you know, either financial income, uh, you know, relationship income, you know, relationship capital. So what are the things that you're doing that you're making zero money on? It's not producing anything good or it's actually robbing you of it. So what are things that bring, you know, zero things could be numbing out on TV or scrolling through Facebook endlessly until you hit the end of Facebook. Um, you know, doing things, watching a reality TV show that is just numbing to the mind. Um, a negative ones could be, what I, what I believe is negative income producing for your health, your finances, your relationship could be eating poorly, you know, going out and drinking all the time. You know, I guess once in a while, you know, if that's your numb out, if that's what you do, you know, that, that's your numb out thing, but in, in moderation, I guess. But just think of the things I do that are really pulling from your life. You know, when I go to the office, I see, once, I see people on their smoke break. They take multiple smoke breaks. I don't know how long it takes you to smoke a cigarette, but that's three to five, six, ten minutes times every day, a couple times a day, just think of the, the negative to no income producing activity that is, and it's harmful for your body. So it's, it's, kill, it's, it's harming three very important areas of your life. So think about what are these zero income producing activities? Income, meaning income to your relationships, in, income to your finances, income to your personal health or your business, right? That's, that's something that's feeding them. Circle those things, write them down, and how many of those things can you eliminate? Or are you willing to eliminate? Once you eliminate them, guess what? It frees up more time. Now, you're living in the same 24 hours, but now you've freed up time. You just expanded your time to now put in, and you can use that time for something that is producive. Then we'll go to the next one. So then you go into low income producing activity. So these are, these are not, these things are not negative or harmful for you, but these are things that you're doing that may, that, that actually your time is more valuable than that activity. For instance, um, 
we just had the gardener, so we had a fountain, right? We had a, a nice fountain that we bartered with one of our patients. So beautiful fountain from Mexico, beautiful, awesome thing. You'll probably see on one of the videos or that unicorn shirt. Beautiful fountain, awesome, but the thing just keeps on breaking. You know, the, the water thing, the pump doesn't work, it's just a pain, total pain in the ass. So I'm like, forget it. We're not putting, we're not fixing this thing anymore. So I'm like, let's make this fountain a huge flower planter. You know, put dirt in the thing, fill it up and put uh, flowers in there. And so it's a great idea. And Wendy could have done that and we could have got the dirt. We could have put that in and all this other stuff. And then we could, have, you know, put the little hoses in there to have the splinter system actually water it. Or Marcos, our landscape right here, you know, for like a couple hundred bucks, he did the whole thing. It took him hours, it brought a, a team of three people and did an amazing job, way better than I ever could. So yes, we could do it, but you know, time-wise, it would take away from, from here. So, the, so low income, meaning that that, that wouldn't have that time I would have spent towards that, I, would, I, would, I could actually produce more with my time than, than I even had to pay for it. So I was able to hire other people to do that or delegate it out to somebody else, delegate it out to your kids, whatever that is. So what I mean is income, you know, that free time, see they're out there right now, and that allows me, them doing that, I'm not there, so that allows me to talk to you guys. So to me, this is a high, this to me is not a low income, this is a high income producing and lifetime legacy producing activity. Me talking to you guys and us having this time together every day. Very, it, I would say this is, le, this is the top of the chart, which is legacy, lifetime income producing, which is um, we're serving each other on that level of relationships. You know, we talk about health. You know, I just did the sauna just now, so I was able to have time for my health. So you see what I'm saying? So what is ever low income? What, you know, figure out what you're worth per hour. Do it that way if you want to figure it out financially. So if I'm worth three, four, five hundred, thirty dollars an hour, three thousand dollars an hour, whatever that is, then if there's something that's a ten dollar an hour job, hire a high school kid. Hey, listen, school's out. This is the time to do it. You can hire any high schooler who'll be willing for 10, 15 bucks an hour to do the things that would free you up so you could actually produce the value that you are worth towards the higher values, which we're going to go to next. So delegate out things, get rid of the low income or zero activity, delegate out the low income or the low cost activities you're doing. So maybe it is cleaning, maybe it is doing the laundry, have your kids do that or hire a high school kid to do that. Um, all those little things that you say, listen, you know, you feel that they're chores. Well, those chores that might be low income producing, you could hire someone to do that, especially kids. You know, no, any, any kid around the block would be happy to clean up the, the leaves or do whatever you need to be done. And plus, you're, you're stimulating the economy, especially for hardworking people that are willing to hustle. It's a great thing. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. And it frees up your time. You just expand your time. Now, after that, we go into now high income producing activities. So here, Write down what are the high income producing activities in your life. So for me, my high income producing is going to be adjusting and speaking. That's it. That's my and the internet stuff we're doing, which is a combination of, of speaking, you know, speaking, right? So that's my high. So the more of that I could do to free up my hours, then that's a high income producing activity. We're talking now true income. This is actually income coming in. This is a, something where you, you would actually say, this is my business, this is my job. So that's the best that I'm at doing that brings the most amount of income and profit to my life. A high income producing would be taking care of your health. That's income to your health. High income would be considered date nights or spending time with Whitney. That's actually a lifetime legacy, but that's all. That's income to my relationship, income to my family. You know, when you look at it that way. And then finally, you write down what is your high um, lifetime legacy producing activities. So this is... We need a free time up for this and delegate things out. And then you want to spend time now because I could spend more time on my high income producing activities because of the higher income and I'm getting more value from my time. Now I could pour that into lifetime legacy things. You know, my goal is not to die with millions and millions in the bank. My, my goal is to use the income that is all it is is potential. That's all money is sitting there in a bank does nothing, but now we could pour it into other things to make a bigger impact in the world. So the lifetime legacy will be those experiences. When you see the We Are Heroes videos, when I take the kids and my wife and we travel to different areas and we speak and stuff like that, that is cr creating an experience and a legacy that continues to go on and on. Doing the videos that we do, you know, we pour into that. So we pour those things into things that'll make an impact over a lifetime and leave a legacy. And that's the, that's the highest rank. So we want to make sure that we have the time to be able to pour in 
to actually honor and invest into our lifetime legacy activities. That's vacations with my wife, vacations with the family, uh, pouring into my practice with my patients, pouring into you guys, taking care of my health. You know, going going to Whole Foods, which are, are we are here as video. Check it out. They almost, we almost got kicked out of Whole Foods, but yes, I spend a little bit extra for a cucumber there because it's organic. Or I have a farm, a little little garden. In my we spend more for that because we're investing into something that's high, you know, legacy lifetime things in our lives. So this is where you invest in yourself and in your family and in the greatest things, in the relationships, the relationship capitals, and really create that huge lifetime legacy experience. Because you don't want to be the person that dies with all the money in the bank, all right? Because it was useless, right? It was all, all that potential was wasted. And any person that I know that's dying, they always say they wish they would have lived more when they were alive, right? So take that wisdom and advice. But now that we get rid of the the, the, the vampire low income, uh, not low income, zero income, uh, actually negative producing activity, then we delegate the low income out to high school students or your kids or your family, so, someone else that will actually be able to take that off your plate so you could spend more time in your high, high income producing activities for your health, your relationship, your business, and uh, your life, and your finances. And then the money you do make, you get to pour it into creating a legacy and a lifetime of experiences. Jim Rohn said it best. He says, life is a combination of experience after experience after one another, right? It's just experience after experience, and our job in life is to squeeze as many experiences back to back as possible to then create a life. So would a better way to do that than doing what? Expanding your time, meaning that you could get more experiences done in a shorter time, spirit, uh, time span to really be able to look back and live a full life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please hit the share button. Episode 38 is out. Uh, we uh, where we almost got kicked out of Whole Foods. We didn't, and uh, but we, but you know that's it just it's documented. It's real life. Check that out. Also, thank you for uh, going to all the uh, social media. Get that done and and make sure you subscribe. Thank you for going to IamHero.com so we could be on the journey of one month to winning. And one month to winning, we go a lot of these these principles as well. And it freed up. It will definitely free up your time because I know in order to win, you need to have the time to do it. So expand your time. You know, you, you might be living 24 hours, but if we can make that 24 hours be efficient and productive each day, you will get so much done and you'll, you'll feel a huge sense of winning in your life. Have an amazing day and we will see you tomorrow, which will be Thursday, for 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. It's a win every single time. We're going to feed your mind, your body, and your future. Have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow.